guys welcome back to my channel so as you saw I already had a pretty busy morning today I went to get my car's oil changed we went to get some breakfast afterwards at the Lexus car dealership that we go to they offer you a lift so you don't have to wait at the dealer for your car to be finished it just has to be within like a 10 mile radius so I was hungry this morning and I was like let's take the lift and let's go get some breakfast so we went to this place called Mama's Table in Valencia. It was actually really good. It kind of gave me like a Tom's or like a Primo's vibe if you guys have a Tom or, Tom's or Primo's in your area. Um, but it was definitely like a like, diner feel and the service was a little slow but the food was good and I felt very happy afterwards. I was like super low energy in the morning. So I'm using my gimbal and my mini microphone today to record. I'm so excited because I can't wait to see how it is once I edit the audio and the video. Hopefully everything will come out good. So tonight I'm going to a Clippers game and it feels like it's still daytime because look how bright it is in my room. It's super bright. So we're going to get ready for the game. So we're going to kind of do a little chatty get ready with me since the other clips were kind of more like um, just for you guys to see what I was up to. But this time I can actually talk and get ready at the same time. So for today, I did do a, a little mini blowout with my Revlon styler. It doesn't really look as nice and I think it's because I didn't really put too much product but right now it's kind of just like setting and my hair is really long so it's hard for you to see the ends but it does have like a lot of volume up here at the top and then I will take this off kind of like halfway through my makeup so I'm going to be wearing like an all black outfit with a clippers jacket on top and I have black on black with my nails so I am excited one thing that I am annoyed about is I did get this pimple right here. It's like the weirdest pimple in the weirdest area. It kind of looks like a mole on camera, so that's good. I don't look crazy. I already started with the e.l.f. primer. If you guys haven't tried this primer, I want to say it's only $10 or $12, and I get it from Ulta and it's literally like the best primer to grip your makeup and it's super affordable which is nice it reminds me of the milk hydro grip but this one's just obviously more cost effective and I feel like a little goes a long way I always put on my skincare let it sit do my hair and then um, put on the primer like right before I'm gonna be done with my hair so then that way it's already ready to go and it's like tacky I'm going to be trying a little bit of a new makeup routine that I've been doing for the past few days that I really like. So hopefully it won't take me too long to get ready. And I'm going to just put my hair back. These are Makeup by Mario clips to just clip my hair back so I don't get no makeup in it. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Radiant Body Foundation again like last time. I'm still using it guys, I have not ran out of it at all, so we're going to still use it. That pimple is so huge. And honestly, I don't know how I got the pimple, because normally like if I do get breakouts, like I have one right here, it's like one or two and I'll just like pop them when they're white. I don't pop them and pick at them like when they're coming in, but I usually don't get acne really anymore but I don't know if maybe it was like a stress thing or a pillowcase thing or what but we're just gonna cover it up because we do not need to have a pimple out here in these streets what's been going on with you guys this Cali weather has been pretty crazy if you live in California I'm sure you've been seeing all the videos there was a tornado in Montebello which is crazy to me it's not that far from where I was going to for college but that's so insane that there was a tornado and then I also saw that there was like a sinkhole right off the 118 like near Rinaldi which that exit has been closed for a while anyway but there's just a lot of weather things happening out there right now so if you live in Cali, it's uh, Saturday today. 
The weather has been nice all day today. I was mentioning how we took a lift to go eat. It was so funny because when we were done eating, the gentleman who was helping us told us to call him when we were ready so he can come pick us up. And he didn't answer, so we were like, should we just like keep calling or what should we do? And then we were like, let's just walk. So we ended up walking back and it was only like maybe a 15 minute walk back to the dealer, but it was so nice, but it was so freezing. Like it was cold, the wind was like hitting us and everything. So that was interesting. I'm gonna be using this guy next. This is the Born This Way multi-use concealer. This one is going to be in the color Swan. This is new, I haven't really been using this ever. I just started to because I mentioned in my other video, I really don't like having too much of a full coverage, but lately, especially when I go out, I feel like I do want to look a little bit more, I guess, done up, and so I felt like if I were to get a concealer, it's kind of like still doing minimal coverage, but at the same time, I can play with it if I want to do fuller coverage. So right now I'm just putting it in like my bigger areas on my face, like around the premeditator, premeditator, I can't even say it, the premeditator, perimeter of my face. We're going to get this pimple again. It's so annoying, look at this. Ugh. I mean this one is ugly too, but we'll work with it. So I'm just going to blend this out. It's super sunny outside. I can see everything still in here. I feel like it's time to wash my makeup brush because sometimes I can tell it starts to look like it's like separating a little. And I don't like that. That pimple is not going away. It's like just there for the rest of the day. It's okay. It wants to show up to the clipper party too and just be right in my way. So what I am going to do, whenever I have like a blemish or something, I usually will set it with a powder. Just, there goes my brush. One moment. I'm back. So I'm going to set it with my foundation powder so that way it kind of covers. But you see I like lightly do it so that way it's not too much. I'm going to do the same thing with this one and I need to do like right here around my lips. One thing I have to do before I do my makeup is brush my teeth because I always feel like if I don't brush my teeth before I do my makeup, it's like, I don't know, I just feel gross. And then I also don't like to put like lip items on until I brush my teeth. I don't know if I'm the only person who's like that, but I definitely have to brush my teeth before I do my makeup. So now I'm just going in with my Maybelline 24 hour Super Stay foundation powder and I'm just going to put this in all the areas where I want my makeup to not move from. I'm just dabbing it onto my skin very lightly and I'm just kind of pushing it in and around. This is like a technique that one of my coworkers from Bare Minerals taught me. She called it stippling. So another thing is I used to work at Bare Minerals. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last video, but when I worked at Bare Minerals, I had minimal knowledge in makeup, and this was before I worked at Sephora. So I really learned a lot from the girls that I worked with at Bare Minerals. They taught me a lot of little tricks, especially when it comes to my skin type. I feel like I do have texture every so often, and I need to like learn new ways to blend in products and make sure that it doesn't look cakey and things like that. So right here for sure I needed to get some 
And that's the thing with makeup. I feel like sometimes we go through different seasons with our skin. Like my last video, I felt like my skin was super glowy and I wasn't having like any skincare issues. I had like no blemishes. The product was staying on for a long time. And I was actually using a different primer too. I was using this e.l.f. one. And for some reason right now in this season that I am in with my skin, this primer will make my makeup fall off and it's just not sticking. So that's why I had to switch to this one, which has been helping to keep my products on longer. But you just have to change every so often, I guess, which is just, you know, paying attention to your skin and what your skin needs. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is my uh, cheek and lip color from Morphe. This is the Pink Me Up. I love, love, love this. You guys remember my other video, I needed a new one. So we refilled this guy and I'm so happy because it just gives me the perfect blush look. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in it. And we're going to go in right on the cheeks. This looks so pretty. And I don't care if I get it too close under my eye because I want it to look more like a sun glow. But you can see how pretty it looks. I love this so much on my skin. And we're going to go in on the other one. And I just do like a cute smiley face so I can see where my cheek is. And I just bring it all the way up. I'm wondering if I should just like put a dot here, like a fake mole. And then one other thing I do is I put it right on my nose like this, just so it looks more like I've just been playing in the sun all day basically. So I love this look, it just looks very youthful, very pretty. So now that I'm done with this, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. So we're going to get the Sephora bronzer. I mentioned this one in my last video also. This is in shade 1, which is Sicily. And I'm just going to put my brush all around there. And then I'm going to get in on the edges here close to my hairline I have this like I don't know what this is it looks like it's a mold too that's coming in I've noticed now as I get older I have a lot of moles on my body and sometimes I don't like them because they look I don't know they just look like puffy like I have one back here too I don't know if you can see it but I've tried to learn to embrace them more because you can see I even have moles like all over here. But that's how God made me. So we're just going to love it. And I'm going to get in right here on the edges close to my hairline. So that way it just looks more natural. I bring my bronzer all the way down like close to my eyebrows. I just... Usually I'm a pale girl, so bringing it down more makes me look like I have more color. Same thing with the bronzer. Down here at the bottom, I kind of just bring it down all the way. So I don't look so pale. That pimple is like camouflage now, you guys. We can barely see it. Only if I go like that, but when am I going to do that? Never, because that looks terrible. Okay, it's looking better. I'm gonna go back in with that small brush that I had, my concealer brush. I don't know what it is right here. The makeup is just not setting. It just wants to move around. So I'm gonna go back in with that powder just to settle, set it in a little more.
way better. So now what we're gonna do is go back in with the bronzer. And what I really like to do is on my eyelids, I kind of just brush it over very lightly to kind of give me some color and some depth on my eyelid like this. So this is like an easy way for you to get some color on your lid. And then I think I'm going to play around and try to do like a eyeliner moment with some darker brown eyeshadow. So we'll probably try to do that. But this is like a quick way for you to kind of just get some, some color on your eyes. And that is it for the bronzer. So let's put that away. One thing that I've been loving is this new brow pen I got from NYX. So with my spoolie, I'm just going to go ahead and comb my brow the way I would want it to look. So I tried this a few times and at first I was doing way too much of this pen on the areas that are already pretty defined, especially like my arch. So I try to now only do it where I feel like I really need it and it needs a little more definition. It does have like a, almost like a, it feels like a, like a pen for like your eyeliner and it's a really, really thin, thin, thin pen. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And no making faces. You have to literally just keep your brow and your face straight so that's basically it so you can see like I'm not moving I'm trying not to move my face but it definitely looks more defined if I wanted to bring out the tail a little bit I could like this and it just kind of makes it look a little bit more defined. I'm going to go to the other side now and maybe I can do it so you guys can see but see like here I definitely need some some definition and the same thing like right here I can do like a little and you guys can see it like how defined it makes it I feel like that was a little bit more than I thought, but it still looks good. And then I like doing right here, just like very lightly. And that, oh, you see how you can kind of make a little bit of a mistake, but that's okay. I'm gonna just go in with my hand. Perfect. So what you can also do is I go in with the spoolie and if that doesn't work then I can just go in with my concealer brush and just blend it out there. I got itchy but I don't want to itch my nose. So that's my brows. Um, I feel like this one sometimes I can do a little more on the top because this brow is a lot more fuller. So we're just going to go like right here. And I try to follow the natural hair growth of my brow. So if it goes down, I go down. If it goes upwards, I try to go upwards. So that looks a little better. Like, like, like. Whenever I do my brows, it makes me just want to go in and tweeze like little hairs all the time. But if I do that, then I will be here for forever and I don't want to do that. So now I'm going to just go back in with my spoolie and just kind of comb through it one more time. And that looks really good. So now we're going to go in with my dose of colors. We're going to do the baked browns. And we're going to use the darker brown color in the palette. 
it's gonna be this really dark one here so we're gonna use that to make like a small wing sometimes for me if I feel like I'm not confident in how I'm going to make the wing look I have tape in my drawer and I just use the tape to help me but because I actually already have makeup on I don't want to pull that makeup off so I'm just going to try my best honestly whenever I do my makeup I try to just do the best that I can I don't try to get too picky on things I can hear George is getting ready now. I love I love date night, you guys. I think it's so much fun. I love just the energy of like, oh, I want to get ready. Like, I want to look cute and just being all cute about it. So that makes me happy because that's what keeps our relationship going and spicy. Another thing that I've been wanting to share with you guys, but I've kind of just been a little hesitant about it, is um, George and I actually do therapy. Now, we do couples therapy because there was a part of, there was a time in our relationship where I felt like I wanted to be a better partner and he wanted the same and we were taking seminars through our church and we were doing like a church, um, saving your marriage before it starts or something like that. It's called Simbus and we were doing the whole seminars and workshops and all of that just because for me personally, a lot of my relationships in the past were not healthy relationships and I really didn't know how to solve issues without having to vent to friends and family and with doing that, sometimes you realize that you're making the problem worse or maybe you're talking about your partner in a way where your family or friends are perceiving it in a negative way even though that's not how you want it to come out. So for us, we decided we wanted to do a couples therapy to learn better coping skills and to just learn how to be better partners to one another. It was the best idea that we've ever done, um, aside from us wanting to obviously be engaged to each other. But this has just been a healthy journey for us and I'm so happy with how much we're learning and like opening up and just being very vulnerable with one another. If you are someone like me where you have siblings and you have a big family, you know it can get a little bit, um, you can feel like you're in a silent competition with your siblings where you just always constantly want to be the best version of yourself but you guys kind of push each other or at least that's how I am with my siblings. So with this journey it's just taught, and taught me a lot about my childhood and how I just, am, I'm a big girl now, I'm not little Karen anymore, I need to use my voice, I need to speak up. Like I'm about to be 30, it's not cute to be quiet and like not say how you really feel. So that was my whole rant. So anyway, back to the main topic, date night is something I definitely look forward to and it's something that I just genuinely love to do with George, especially that we get to alternate the weeks. So last week was my week and this week it was his week. Lately, we've been trying to kind of do more like outdoorsy things because we want to take advantage of the no bug situation right now while it's um, still cold. But there's the little wing that you guys, it came through. So I don't even know how I did that, so I have to try to do it on this side. I saw this video of Ariana Grande doing her wing and she was an expert in the wing department but that's okay I don't have to be an expert this one definitely looks totally different so whenever something like this happens to me I go to this side of my brush so I was using the smaller side and what I do is I kind of just like blend it outwards and I try to kind of make it more of a smoky look I was going to originally do this anyway, is smoke it out because I think that looks like really pretty and like very sexy. So I'm just going to try to do that and then I'll clean up this side. Yeah, so if anyone else is doing couples therapy or just therapy in general, definitely drop a comment and share what you enjoy about it, what you learned. For me, it's constant learning. I feel like I always have a different mood every week. And every week I just go in and I 
try to talk about only what I feel in that week versus how I felt a week or two ago um, because it's not healthy to live in the past and it's not healthy to keep bringing up the past. So for me, I always try to focus on how I'm feeling that week. What is something that my therapist can help me with in terms of like navigating how I feel, if it's like a feeling or just identifying really what the problem is versus blaming someone or even blaming yourself. I think that's something that I've been learning a lot about myself is I can live up here a lot and like sit there and try to pick my brain or pick a mistake and just like replay it over and over my head of how I could have done something different and it's just not healthy to do that. You gotta just move on and just learn how to identify your feelings and say how you feel. For me, whenever I wake up every morning, I kind of just do like a check-in with myself like, hey, how are you feeling today? Are you like tired? Are you sad? Are you happy? Do you feel motivated? What is like, you know, my my true genuine feeling? Because sometimes we don't say what the actual feeling is. It's funny because I feel like I had to even look up definitions on feelings. Like, what does this feeling really mean? Just so I could understand. So this one came out really bomb. I, I feel like this looks really, really cute especially with my hair. This one's a little bit more blown out, but I'm just gonna kind of go in right here on the side to define it more. Like I said, when it comes to me and makeup, I just have fun. I don't sit here and try to critique it too much because I'm not, I'm not perfect and I'm not a makeup artist for sure. I'm just doing makeup on myself. So I try to have fun with it and not be too serious because if I was too serious, I would be in here all freaking day just trying to get ready. And that is not fun. So now I'm going to go in with this white color. And I'm just going to kind of go in right here around my brow area. It's funny because we put all that bronzer on, but I feel like I don't know where it went. But that's cool. Makeup is literally just something for you to play with and always have fun with. And just kind of change your look so why not I'm gonna actually use the white underneath my eye too to just kind of give it a little bit more of a brighter look and we're gonna go in on this side I love the lighting in here today it's perfect lighting so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna actually take this off because it's bothering me and it's just kind of getting in the way I love the volume. Look at this, how beautiful this looks. I kind of want to cut my hair. I've been so tempted to cut my hair, you guys. My dream for what, <laughs> for turning 30 for the longest was to have a bob. I think it would just look super pretty on my face shape to have like a short bob like this. And then I want it to be in a thong in Miami somewhere on a beach and just living my dream so this looks really really nice so one thing that I do need to fix is my line up here at the top so I'm just gonna go in right here and that looks freaking bomb.com so what I'm gonna do now is get my clips again and just kinda like scrunch it upwards so I kinda keep that volume but it's out of my face Perfect. Excellent. We're going to go back in with the brush. I just want to kind of make it look a little less harsh. Because like I said, I kind of wanted it to look more like a blown out wing. Like a smoky wing. So we're just going to do that. And I think that looks pretty. One makeup look that I have been wanting to try on myself, but I haven't is if you guys watch a lot of um, 90s movies, there's always like this look, like where they have like kind of like a gray smoky eye and it looks almost like silver or like white. I think that's so pretty, especially on um, my skin complexion. I think it would look really, really pretty. I just haven't done it because 
I'm scared to do like a whole smoky eye moment because I'm the worst blender sometimes. I have to like learn how to blend still. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little lip liner. I always do like a light line and I try to bring it inwards on the corners. See, if I didn't brush my teeth, I wouldn't have been able to do this on camera. Because it would have grossed me out. One thing, too, I used to have my lip pierced in high school. I got it pierced outside my house. I know, I was so ghetto. Talk about Casey Wild. So. I still have the hole. I don't know if the hole is still like for me to push it through, not that I'm going to, but it definitely like sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, girl, what were you what were you thinking? Like, why did you do that? I also pierced my nose like a few times. I think I've done it twice and I thought about re-piercing it but doing like a septum, but I'm playing. I don't I don't need to do all the piercings anymore. It's just so much fun. So a part of me kind of feels like I want to do something underneath my eye, but I want my eyes to kind of stay open more, not closed. So I got this. It's called the Lippy Stick from ColourPop, and this is in the color O oh Snap. It's a matte color, so I'm just going to put that on my lips. It's super pretty. I love the color. But so uh, my lips don't look so dry. I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the color Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to put that on top. The whole time I'm recording this, I feel like I'm not looking at the lens. I'm looking at myself. But I have a mirror next to me too, so it's it's kind of hard because you just want to like look at yourself sometimes in the camera, but you should be looking at the lens. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my mascara. I'm trying a new one. This is also from ColourPop. I love ColourPop makeup products. I feel like they're, again, super inexpensive and they work really well and they just make your skin look look super bomb too. I have the concealer which I've used in a few of my other videos and the concealer never disappoints. The only thing is lately the concealer has been leaking. I don't know why. So I have it wrapped in a napkin but you see it's like been leaking on me and it's just weird. I don't know. I thought I closed it right but maybe I didn't. So we're going to go in with the mascara. Just so you guys can see, this is what my lashes look like without mascara. And we're going to put the mascara on so you can see the difference. When I when I put it on, I think it makes my lashes look a lot more full. And just a little bit longer. But this video will tell us the truth. So, for those of you watching this video, what is your get ready routine when you're going to go out for a date? What do you do? For me, I definitely have to do the full shower where you're doing like the exfoliating and everything. It's just like a habit. Like I feel like I just want to smell good. I want to feel good. I want to make sure that I'm like glowing. Sometimes I like doing like a face mask too, but right now I don't really have any good face mask. Normally I use the Ulla Henriksen. It's like the blue one. I forget what it's called because I haven't really been using it. But that's a really good mask. But I need to buy more sheet masks. Before I used to have a bunch of sheet masks that I would just keep in my skincare fridge. And I would pull one out every time I was going to go out and get ready. And I need to get back into that habit because it's just like pampering. I feel like 
it's not even that the skincare mask really does something. It's more like it's just pampering yourself, which is nice. So now we're going in on this eye. I just go back and forth between the eyes so that it kind of dries at the same time. How do you guys do your mascara? I remember when I was working at one of my other jobs. I don't want to say where exactly, but um, somebody had mentioned to me they felt like I didn't do my lashes correctly because I didn't like go close enough to my lid. But I don't know if that's a real thing or not. I feel like I just try to coat them as much as I can. But you know, everyone has their own routine of how they do things. So maybe I wasn't doing it right. So this is what they look like. I think the mascara is really good. I'm trying to show you guys so you can see. But it definitely just makes them pop more and they look more defined. And they look super full. I'm going to go in a little more on this other eye. I have a love-hate relationship with doing uh, mascara on my bottom lash. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I just, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But today I'm just going to do it very lightly. I have an issue where my eyes water sometimes. And it's just annoying when they water and I have mascara on my bottom lid. Because then it gets all messy. But it does look pretty. I mean, look at this eye compared to this eye. So... I'm going to go on this side too. And I got a little bit under here. What is one makeup product that you guys would literally die if you did not have it in your makeup bag for me i feel like i love 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 blush blush is definitely like a mood changer for me like i said it just makes me feel like more like happy and just like more like you know i'm going in on this one okay now this turned into like a whole mascara thing on the bottom because now this one looks more more like I have mascara than this side and I can feel it going on this is so cute oof I love this if my eyes water tonight I'm gonna be pissed but we'll see how it goes so then there's that mm -hmm. I love it so now that we are done with that, I let my lashes dry and then I curl them upwards because it just makes them stay nice and, you know, curled and more lifted. Other than that, I'm basically done getting ready. That was it. That took us 30 minutes, which isn't bad because normally... Honestly, it usually only takes me like 15 minutes to get ready in the morning because I don't do as much makeup, especially the whole liner thing or just spending more time on it. So my hair looks a lot less frizzy now. I think I need to add a little bit of um, product up here just so it looks more smooth, but it looks super pretty. I don't know if you guys can see how long my hair is. My hair is so long. So right here is like almost to my butt already I have a small torso but look at these inches y'all mm -hmm. so yeah my hair is long if you guys want me to show you what I use for my hair drop a comment I have a shampoo and conditioner that I switched to maybe like almost it two to three years ago and ever since then my hair has been growing like crazy 
The only thing I don't like is that it takes forever to wash my hair. Before, I feel like I could wash my hair and it would be like dry and ready to go. But now it's like so thick, it's hard to wash everything. Sometimes you have to stay in there longer to really get into your scalp and wash it. So we're going to curl it and I'm going to show you guys the jacket I'm going to wear. I feel like I was talking a lot today in this video. Sorry, she's a talker. See how when you curl them, they just look more, like it looks like I'm wearing falsies, but I'm not. I need to think about what I'm going to get to eat while I'm there. Last time we got nachos and they were so good. We got pizza too, but that sucked. So I'm not ordering pizza. So now we're going to put the jacket on. So give me a second. So this is the jacket. It's so cute. George's grandpa gave it to George, but you know how we do. We got to steal, steal clothes when we go to the games. So the back is really cute too. I was thinking I should have done like an updo just so that you can see it more. But this looks cute and girly. And then I can have my pockets. makeup looks like outside and in the car I love it I think it came out pretty bomb um I always like try to critique what my makeup looks like so that I know what to do better the next time but for sure I would say that um my brows look a lot better outside than inside and that's what I kept saying to myself because inside I was like oh they look kind of dark but they actually look good in, in the regular light so, mm -hmm. you know, Georgie does not let me pump gas ever when he's in the car, so he'll be pumping the gas. He's already in there. There's a fire truck coming, but I love it. I think it looks super cute. You can see Georgie now, he's coming. His outfit is so cute. I think he looks so sexy. I love doing all the silly faces. I wonder if anyone's looking. Look. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm crazy. But that's fine. Oh my god, look at that pimple, you guys. That's so crazy how big it is. I give it two days and it'll go away because I have this pimple cream that works like magic, but that thing is big but you can't really see it this way now that i saw it i can't stop looking at it and i need to get over it because everything else looks fine ah, so ugly <laughs>
Alrighty, you guys, so we made it back from the game. It was so much fun. George paid for us to get some food at the buffet that they had, and it was super bomb. They had this like kimchi pasta, super fire. I had um, to go back for tw like two plates, it was really good. And then they had tri tip with this like bomb ass sauce, and then they also had salad. They had fruit, they had dessert, they had coffee, they had water, they had soda. If you wanted to order from the bar, you could order from the bar. So there was a bunch of goodies there and it was our first time trying it. And I highly recommend. So they give you a wristband so you can keep going to get food. But now it's time to take my makeup off and get ready to go to bed. This is what it looks like at the end of the night. It still looks really nice and I really love the way that my liner came out today. I'm also using the microphone in the bathroom because normally the fan that we have in here makes a lot of noise so hopefully you guys can hear me while I'm taking off my makeup. I'm gonna grab my towel, my face towel, so one moment. I'm going to also wash my hands first. Um, that's like step one. So I can actually make the gimbal go up a little higher, which I'm going to try so my head isn't cut off in the video. Let me try to push it up. There we go. This gimbal has changed my life, you guys. It's so awesome, I can't even explain it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my cleanser first. I have all my scrunchies on there and I'm going to get my makeup remover. So I like to do this little cocktail where I do a squirt. Oh wow, that squirted on my man. Of the makeup remover. And then I use my cleanser and I kind of just make it like a little paste like this and then I go ahead and melt my makeup off it kind of looks like this this works for me so I don't have to sit there and rub everything off and we're gonna say bye to my lashes they look so bomb but it's time to go to bed so we don't need all this makeup on and I just like to give myself like a little massage while I'm doing this because it just feels so relaxing that food was so freaking bomb, you guys. You have no idea. I'm like all relaxed now. Changed my mood. Our server was really nice too. And George even said he felt like they were like super on it. So that was nice. So now that I have everything, I'm going to put my water on and melt all this off. So you guys can see it takes off everything. This pimple is still like, it went down a little but it definitely looked crazy. I'm glad it wasn't trying to be like popping out when we were there. So now that I did my skincare, I'm gonna go in with my moisturizers. 
By the way, I also refilled this. I have been trying to look for this one with the pump forever, and for some reason, I don't know why they don't have it lately. So now that it's getting towards the bottom, I'll refill it with my other one. But I just will wait till it needs the refill. What I'm gonna use to spot treat my skin is going to be this here. And it's basically sulfur treatment. So I'm gonna put this on the pimple right here at the bottom. And then I'm also gonna put it on this other one that popped up here. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I put it here because I usually get like little white heads, not a lot, but just like one little one or something. So just to prevent anything from coming in. I think it's because my hair rubs a lot right there too. Then I'm gonna go in with the Ordinary brand. This is the Buffett Serum. And I'm gonna just do three dots. And we're just going to massage that in. One thing that I like to do at night is I like to use my Vanny Cream instead of using my Pharmacy Honey Halo because I don't want to waste that product, especially at night. Oh, this feels so good. So we're going to go ahead with the Vanny Cream, which is this one. I'm almost done with it. I love this. This is like for body and for face. So I'm gonna put on like this much. And I like to put it all the way down my neck. If the audio didn't work out in this video, I'm gonna have to voice over it. So I hope it works out for me. And we're just gonna go down here. I even get like my ears. Right here, right here. Oh, I feel so good. I'm so happy we had a good day night tonight. I love just being able to go out and have a good time and come back and just relax, enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll probably just hang out with George in the living room for a little bit and then head to bed because it is 10.49 already. So I go to sleep already by 11, 11.30 sometimes. 12 is like my cutoff. I can't make it past 12. So now that we're done with our skincare, I'm going to just brush and floss my teeth and then I'm done for the rest of the night. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy this vlog. I hope that if you have a partner at home, you guys are taking care of each other and doing things for one another that your partner needs. Get to know each other. Never stop dating and just have fun. You only have one life to live.